everyone, my name's Roscoe and we are back. So today, we're gonna be taking a look at the new Yeezy 700 Wash Orange. This sneaker dropped on October 16th for a retail price of $240. This right here was a very unexpected W. That's the only thing that sold out. That was the most hype thing and the stickers. Shoes are sitting. I hit! Woo! Yo, we got a W, baby! I was a little excited. To me, if I wasn't able to get these for retail, I would have probably ended up passing over these because I didn't feel like this was something super, super necessary. Since I have the Wave Runners, Inflamed Ambers, Suns, Bright Blues, felt like this one was sort of, uh, it was okay. Let's uh, open this up and take a look. Comes in. A regular brown Yeezy box, so no change there. Yeezy Boost 700, and the official colorway is washed orange. Sizing for 700s, I recommend going a half size up. I think they run small. Let's open this up and take a look. I'm gonna be a little biased on this. Obviously, I'm a Yeezy fan. I love 700 V1s, man. The 700 V1 is my favorite Yeezy silhouette. It's such a great sneaker, man. That's why, even though I say like this was one that I gotta have, I still think it's very nice. All right, so here is the 700 wash orange. It's nice. It's cool. Uh, I can definitely hear people, oh, these are a budget wave runners. It's like they took the wave runner and they brought it into 2021 with the new updated orange sole. It's very similar. It is. The whole upper is very similar. The only slight difference is that it's a darker gray. You have a darker gray toe box, darker gray leather here on the upper, and also on the back of the heel. I'm trying to figure out this color. Uh, if that's like an icy blue gray, and also the siding here for the filter. To me, it's like a blue gray. To me, the laces too as well looks like a bluish gray. I do dig it. Like I, I can't. I mention all the time. Like the V1 silhouette is my favorite. Yeezy silhouette because of the material. Materials are just always premium. You know, you have the buttery suede toe box, nice, good quality leather up here. The design, the pattern, the way it looks, and honestly, the memories I've had wearing the Wave Runners. I wore them everywhere. I was so excited to get a pair of Wave Runners. And I remember traveling and going, visiting my friends. And everyone's stopping me and be like, yo, those are the new Wave Runners. And I love that shoe. I still have my pair. It's a sneaker that I'm always gonna go for. And I feel like they can't do anything wrong with the colorways. I love the green here on the edge. I love the blue on the toe box. These do crease heavily. Probably the only downside about this one where they went with the EVA. So they crease heavy right here on the side. It's all right, wear your shoes. You have the orange drips here. The orange sole kind of hides the, the orange drip. We can talk about the orange sole. I know a lot of you guys are just not a huge fan of it. I think it's okay, to be honest. Really, anything out there on the market that's like this, right? How many shoes you know that have orange soles like this? I think it's now time with the orange sole to put it on the shelf and give it a wrap because this is the fourth colorway to feature this. I don't mind it. I think it works because you have something that's super calm on the upper and then boom, splash of color here at the bottom. But I can definitely hear people saying, enough with the orange soles. Let's do something else now. I know for some upcoming colorways, they are gonna get a little crazier. I think there is possibly a sort of like a inertia colorway coming back. And then I've heard there might be a yellow, frozen yellow color in the works. I think this could be the last one with the orange sole. I like them. I think they're great. They're 240 retail, which is a huge plus, especially since 700s back in the day, they retailed for 300. 240 retail, not too bad. Let me show you the Wave Runners. So we have the classic Wave Runners here. This is my old pair, I think. <laughs> like they just legit, like just changed the orange sole and just made the, the upper darker. And then here you go, wash orange. <laughs> so really minor changes here on the wash orange. I still think it's nice. I still like it. In flame amber. Whew. With the orange, look at in flame amber. Such a sick color. The bright blues. These are very, very bright. Such a sick, sick colorway. Who would have thought a bright blue with the orange sole? My favorite released this year the suns man these are so so sick the bright yellow upper these are sick and now you have the wash orange 
which is a little bit more calmer so it might be for more you know from everyday wear let me know what you guys think of the yeezy 700 wash orange are these a cop or a drop quick resale prediction on this sneaker they're going for right around 280 bucks it's not too bad i do think these could potentially go up i think they could go up to like 320 340 later later down the line that's my video for you guys today hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did go ahead and smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel and like always I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.